This is an install video uh, to let you know how to install the new Morimoto XB LED fog light housings for the 2007 to 2015 Silverado. I'm um, just giving you a shot here of the actual um, fog light housing. Again, this is an XB LED uh, fog light housing that's going to go right into the stock housing of the Silverado from 2007 to 2015. Okay, the first thing we want to let you know is that probably the easiest way, didn't seem like there was any way around it, um, to get these fog lights dismounted so that you can put the new Morimoto ones in there is to simply take the front end of the truck apart. Um, you really need to get the bumper off. That's the main thing you need to do. Uh, in order to get the bumper off, you've got to pretty much take everything else out. You've got to take the headlights out, the grill, uh, the plastic fairing on the top of the bumper and then the bumper off uh, just makes the amount of time it takes to take the front end off it makes it a lot easier for the install of the fog lights so as you can see now we have the bumper off and what we got to do first is we've got to get this fog light out of here and you can see this is the driver's side it's pretty well in pretty well buried in there the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove these darts right here to get that out of the way. And then we're going to take this whole bumper support off of here. Because if we take that off, then this whole housing will come out with it. Um, to take this bumper support off, these are 15 millimeter bolts. You have one here. You have uh, one up here. We take these two right here off. And then the two down here. All 15 millimeter, uh, they come off quite easily. There's no nuts on the back side. There are threaded clips that hold them on. So we're going to take those off right now so that we can get the fog light assembly and the support out. Before you take the support assembly out though, I would recommend um, in doing the other side, I'd like to just uh, drawing yourself some lines on here because these are all adjustable holes and you want to put everything back in the same it was before. Um, and also you want to mark the top up here with something so that you can contour the lines so you know where to put everything back together again. Just makes for a uh, smoother assembly in the end. Now we have the uh, bumper support along with the fog light out of the bumper. We remove those 15 millimeter bolts after we made our markings. So this is the back side of it. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to get this housing bucket right here out of the support. To do that we have one screw here. These are seven millimeter screws. One, two, and then three, one over here on the other side. Okay, we have those screws there, they're seven millimeter. I again suggest making some markings to yourself on here, on both sides, where, where your tabs are, because again, we want this to line up on the front side with the bumper. So just so you can see the front side, this is the front fairing uh, that we have here. And if we don't mark properly on the side, this might not be out or back too far. It won't line up with our bumper, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and remove this piece right here from the bumper support. Okay, now you can see that we have our fog light assembly out of the bumper support. Here's the back of it. Uh, what we're gonna do now, as you see, you have a screw here, and then we also have another screw that I've taken out over here. Those are seven millimeter screws again. What that does is it allows us to get this front piece off right here. So what we're gonna do is just pop these clips after we take the screws out and the front will come off so that we can get to the actual light. Now we have the front fascia piece has been taken off now. Okay, and we see that we just have the actual headlight, or sorry, the fog light here. What we've got to do is we've got to get the fog light out of this plastic housing. So if you look on the back of it here, you'll see one, two, three adjusting darts. Okay, and that's what holds them in there. They're kind of a pain because there's four little claws on there that have to be pushed at the same time. So what I found works nicely is I take an 11 millimeter socket and it's just small enough that when you push it on there, it compresses those. And then if you stick a screwdriver in here and push forward, it'll get it started for you so that you can get those darts through and get the fog light out. Okay, now we have the fog light out of the assembly. And after we take the fog light out of the plastic assembly, you see that we have these darts still on here. 
And if you look, this is the back of the Morimoto XB LED fog light housing. What you're going to do is you're going to take all these stock little darts off of here. They just pull right off. So you pull that part off and we're going to put them onto these plugs right here. So all your stock parts will go back on this one so that we can insert it into the plastic housing again. The same with this adjuster right here. You're just going to simply screw out this adjuster. So I'll take it all the way out. And then you'll see on the bottom of the adjuster, right, you'll see a little clip. You're going to take that part out with a pair of needle nose, squeeze it together and pop it out. And that's going to snap right back into place right here so that you can apply that uh, screw in adjuster on your Morimoto XB LED light. Now you can see that I have all my darts transferred over, my adjuster tab transferred over. Okay, so I've got everything aligned. You can also see here, if I get a little close up, that there's a slot on the bottom of these darts. And uh, with the, the retrofit source and Morimoto have done a nice job of making a little line that lines up in there so that this thing won't turn on you. Uh, so things line up very, very nicely on these, uh, on these darts so that it should be a nice smooth insulation when you put it back into your plastic housing here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're going to take the light and slide it right back in the plastic housing and push the darts through. Okay, now uh, the retrofit source and Morimoto have done a great job. You'll see that the posts that are on here will line up pretty much damn near identical to what your stock ones were. So you literally just push it right back in place like it's supposed to go. And now there you have it. We've got the fog light housing secured into the plastic housing. And then you see on the back, the darts are right through there just like it was. Oops, sorry, I'm getting the picture just like it was to begin with with the stock ones. Now what we're gonna do is just reassemble. Okay, we're gonna put the fairing back on the front and then we're gonna put it into the bumper support and then we'll put it on the bumper after we get done. Now we've got our fog light housing that is bolted back into our bumper support. Uh, I've lined it up with my lines that I had on here before. Okay, so we can see that I made it. I also lined it up with my lines I had on here on this side. Um, so as you can see, this is what it looks like from the front now. And uh, we're gonna insert this back into the bumper, lining it up with our lines that we drew before, and we're gonna put the 615 millimeter bolts back in place right now. Now we have our bumper support put back into the bumper. Again, we put these two bolts back in, these two here, and then one here and one there. Uh, we lined up our lines. You can see we're right along our line that we were before that we drew. Uh, so we should be able to put everything back. And when you look at the front of the bumper, uh, your fog light will be lined up just as it was like it uh, was put in from the factory. And that pretty much concludes uh, installing the actual manual portion of doing it. Uh, we're going to put the front end together, put the bumper back on, and then uh, we're going to plug them in. They just plug and play to your stock harness in your truck.